Running coaches use a wide variety of drills and skills to enable their athletes to run more efficiently. And there's three that I like to really help the master's athlete, the triathlete, gain a nice easiness with their running gait. The first one is it has a funny name. It's called run like a waiter or a waitress, depending on your gender. And it's a very simple drill. It teaches you to relax your upper body, particularly your upper trapezius muscles, your shoulders. And I'll give you a quick demonstration of it. If we run like this with our hands open, just imagine that you're carrying like a cocktail tray and you're, you're not a very good waiter or waitress, so you're dumping that tray onto your chest. The hands will swing through in your normal arm carriage as if I'm normally running, but I'm just going to open them up. So I quite often I can go from a bunch position here to a nice relaxed, soft shoulder position. It's an easy one to implement in any type of run and at any intensity. The second drill is pelvic tilt, and there's two phases of this drill. You start with a bent over position, exaggerating terrible running posture. Stick your butt back, arch your back, pull your shoulders back up in the air. Well, no one wants to look like this when they're running. So as we start in this position, over five or six strides, I'm going to slowly come up into more erect position, pushing my hips forward, drop back down again, accentuating the bad, coming forward one more time. The second part of the pelvic tilt is actually to use your hands as if you're slipping your hands in the back of your pocket and you can just gently guide your pelvis to come slightly forward as you're running. Obviously we eliminate the arm carriage. This can be done slowly and as you get your pelvis in the right position then bring your arms in your normal carriage. The third and final one is baby steps. And baby steps obviously means baby steps. It's short little steps. We become more efficient with taking faster steps as opposed to taking a longer gazelle-like stride. So you start off with a static position in place, up more on the midfoot to the ball of your foot, and then continue that as you start to progress forward with short little steps, bringing up that cadence count as you're doing those baby steps. Baby steps are a quick cadence that can be used at any time during any exercise at any speed. For example, if you feel kind of heavy and your feet are sticking or not rebounding off the ground, come back to a shorter stride length. Try to bring up that cadence. And sometimes it's good just to stop and run in place and then build up from there. You can implement all three drills in one singular run. For example, if you have a 40 minute run, you might take five or six minutes just thinking about one activity, one drill, and then move to the next one. They're easy to isolate and the overall end result is that you're going to be more economical and more efficient.